in YouTube just gonna give you a quick tutorial on a neutral everyday makeup look using my favorite and new cruelty-free products and brands so as you can see I got a couple new ones and I can't wait to try them out and here they all are so let's get started So I'm going to go ahead and start out. I've already primed my face with the black radiance and now I'm going to take this wet n wild carrot gold matte lipstick and I'm going to use it as my color corrector like I did my powder. So I'm just going to put it over my lips. I have a weird dark spot under my nose and under my eyelids where I have allergy shiners and just general dark patches and also cover up a couple of my dark spots left over from some acne. So now I'm going to use my Take On The Day eyeshadow primer and I'm going to cover that up after it sets with this coverall foundation in the color medium. And that way I have a nice blank canvas for this new Wet n Wild palette. So I'm gonna take that lighter color and put it on my eyelid, but first I'm gonna go ahead and take that darker color I pointed to and put it in my crease and just kind of blend it so it doesn't look super fine, just kind of, I don't know, not natural, but just a little more blended together than usual and I would use my normal packing eyeshadow brush but um I seem to have left it when I went to visit my boyfriend so that's why I'm using my fluffy blending brush and uh, just trying to work that in the best I can to give it a nice neutral shimmer and the camera doesn't pick up the color quite as well but um it's it's kind of there now I'm going in with my Alme eyeliner, and though Alme isn't cruelty free, uh, I've had these eyeliners for a good two years just because um, I've stopped using eyeliner as much. And I'm using it in dark brown just to give my eyes a better definition. So now I'm going to pick up my Wet n Wild new 3x Plumper, and uh, I usually don't wear mascara just because my eyes are a little sensitive but I decided to give this one a try and luckily it didn't cause my eyes to swell up like most do so I'm guessing that's a good thing and uh, I have brittle eyelashes so forgive me if it doesn't show up very well next I'm taking my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat in uh, Nutmeg and this is the liquid foundation and uh, I'm just gonna put it all over my face and uh, it's got pretty good coverage uh, as for staying power it could be a little better. You can see my review in um, another video, maybe about my first one. And uh, the staying power is decent, and uh, as far as being matte, it does last longer than most foundations I have. I have a combination oily to dry skin, so I do get really oily in my T-zone, and especially on my cheeks. So this one's really good, especially if it's set really well. And like I said, the coverage is amazing. As you can see, it covered up all my orange color correcting lipstick and uh, most of the patches over my lip and eye. And now I'm gonna use uh, my uh, Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation in the color medium. And I'm gonna give myself a slight highlight, nothing too dramatic, just something to kind of cover up those uh, dark spots and uh, under my eyes and give myself a brighter look even though I'm going a little more natural with it. And you're going to see that it oxidizes just a little so it goes on light as you can see but in a second you'll barely be able to tell I have it on.
and I'm just blending that all over my cheeks and above my lip like I said just to give a little brighter look and also I think it'll just make my blush pop which I'm very excited to try this new blush Now, I'm using the e.l.f. High Definition Powder in the uh, transparent, translucent color, and uh, I was worried about this because it's really messy, but it is great as far as it comes for mattifying, and especially mattifying lipstick and my makeup. It helps it stay on all day, and it's perfectly translucent, uh, unlike my Wet n Wild found, you know, powder. Unfortunately, that one did give kind of a grayish to white hue, so this one's really great. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. blush palette, and it's new too. I usually don't like e.l.f., but this one has been amazing, and I'm taking the berry color. This is from the palette that's uh, known as Dark, Deep or Dark. Uh, I figured it would go with the florals in my skirt. But uh, it's for darker skin, I guess, and um, I'm taking that berry color. I'm just going to use my uh, contouring brush, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my cheeks and just kind of blend it in for a natural flush. And I like this palette so far, all the colors look really good on me, <laughs> which is great because, I, like I said, I usually don't like e.l.f. The color usually isn't very good, but this one's been pretty amazing. And uh, I like it so far, and I think I'll definitely buy it again. Now I'm going to take my Giordana lip pencil in the color Tawny, and I'm just going to use it to fill in that natural pink of my lips. It just about matches. I'm not going to go crazy with it, but I do want to bring out that natural pink in my lips. And, of course, you can do that one, two, three contour if you'd like, but I'm not going to be doing a contour today. I just want to look really natural. I'm just going to be in the house with my boyfriend watching movies, and that's it. Don't forget to go in with your favorite scent, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now you have yourself a simple, everyday, cruelty-free, neutral look. See you later.